Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Thank you so much for being here. So in today's video, I am very excited because I got my hands on newest Hermes lipsticks. They've come out with a super limited edition, limited content lipsticks, and they come out with three shades. I picked up two of them. We're gonna be talking all about them. And these are the two pretty bullets. So we're gonna be doing swatches and lip swatches. And I'm gonna tell you the difference in the formula. Super hot, you guys, and limited, super explosive and we're gonna be talking all about them in just a minute. If it doesn't sound to you and this is your first time here, my name is Gigi. Thank you so, so much for clicking on my channel. I hope you stay subscribed for more. Click that red button below and also come over to my Instagram because I share a lot of makeup updates over there that I cannot do in here. And without further ado, let's start. All right, my friends, so let's begin and I am so excited. I haven't even seen them because they came in wrapped so, so cute that I didn't wanna open them. I just wanted to do it together. So these are three limited edition lipsticks, new shades anyways, um, and they're meant to be super exclusive. I got my hands on them. I went to Hermes Boutique here in downtown Toronto. We only got them here at that boutique. Um, there aren't anywhere else in Toronto so it is a very exclusive I had to cold and they're currently sold out but I saw them still at Nordstrom if you're in the US and they're already at uh, Whole Renfords if you're in Canada you can also call holds because some stores will have them anyways uh, let's stop rambling I did pick up a two of the shades I picked up Rosé um, Ombre and I picked up Rosé Nuit so this is their beautiful packaging. You open up. So detail is everything. Very pretty. I love this orange casing. And then he is very secured in that little it is really thick, very nice for traveling. I love that detail. And this is the beautiful lipstick. It has some detail at the top of the lipstick and then this is the bottom. It is magnetic and this is our lipstick. It says Hermes there in the bullet. So same thing, it comes with the orange packaging, ooh, pink, <laughs> and this is beautiful bullet. So let's swatch these beautiful lipsticks. Um, First one is going to be the more pink one. So this one is the matte lipstick. And then this one, sorry. And this one is more nude in the shade um, ombre and this is the satin lipstick and this one is a mask. So over at Hermes website it reads a second limited edition collection. It comes with a rosé ombre, rosé pomegranate and rosé nuit. Sorry if I'm butchering that French. So there are three beauty objects lacquered in a palette of light and shade. Three colors on the team of pink imbued with a vivid a secret and enveloping sensuality. A mysterious secret signature that is subtle yet sophisticated. So let's apply Rosé Ombre. Rosé Ombre evokes a discreet and soft rosewood color. Its texture is fine and is rich, delivers a vibrant, long-lasting color. It offers softness and comfort. This is what this one looks like. It is the satin um, formula and you can see that it has a little bit of a sheen. Oh my God, it is so soft, very comfortable. It's just very delicate to my lips when they rub together. I love it. It has a little bit of a florally scent. 
I can still, you know, smell it, but I hope it goes away. It's not very strong as, like, say, YSL, you know, scent, but it is there. It is a fainting. Um, so I'll let you know if it faints um, whenever I put on the other one. But this one is a very pretty, very neutral. I think this is my. It is my go-to. I can see it. It is a very, you know, it is pink, but it is nude. It's gonna go with a lot of different, you know, just eye makeup, and it is stunning. So let's do the. Next Next one. So now let's do the deeper pink. Rose Nuit is a velvety pink, deep, soft, and muted. Its velvety, powdery finish delivers intense, long-lasting color. In high concentration, its pigments release their imprint in a single application. And rich with moisturizing active ingredient, it leaves lips supple and comfortable. Okay, and I am very surprised about this shade. I didn't think it was gonna pull that pink on me. That's why I skipped the other shade because I was avoiding this super pink shade. Uh, but this is pretty though. I think it is a very stunning shade. It is super comfortable, much more opaque than their satins. I felt like the satin, I had to build up a little bit more. The MAC one, you get a ton of pigment right away. You get a lot of pigmentation, it is very opaque. So even though I was avoiding the super pink shade, I think this is still really cute. It is pretty. I am going to, you know, wear it because I think I like it. It looks really nice. Uh, but I'm wondering what the other one would look like on me. But anyways, um, this is a really pretty shade. I think it is still wearable. Not extremely wearable, but it is wearable. Not as nude as, as this one, of course. So upon application, I could 100% see how opaque it is. Just how they describe it. Uh, one or two swipes it was done it coated my lips a very opaque and full pigmentation with the satin I found that I had to go you know more than one time to get the opacity but I don't really mind you know I don't really feel a huge difference uh, when it comes to the formula they are both very creamy and comfortable and they feel about the same on my lips. You can see that this one is the matte formula and you don't have that sheen, it's like zero, uh, which I like, but I love that um, it is so comfortable. I don't feel like my lips are tucked, they're not drying. It, it is a very pretty, it is a very pretty, pretty formula. Alrighty friends, and those were the two shades that I picked up. I am going to put a picture right there of the other one that I tried to skip on. I don't know if I will go back to them. I don't think so, because that one looks very pink. And this is already too pink for my liking, I think. But anyways, it is beautiful. I like it. I like this pink, but I'd much rather, um, you know, use the ombre one. So I thought this could be helpful for you if you're looking Looking into this lipstick, I am a medium um, olive, medium complexion. Um, for reference, I do wear Dior 3WO, I do wear NARS Stromboli and MAC NC40. I don't know, just as uh, for your reference, if you are looking into these beautiful lipsticks, as I mentioned, they are very, very limited. Uh, it is uh, super hot. As I said, uh, when I went to the boutique, he told me that they were gone and that it was good that I called just to put them aside because he's sold out of them. They're coming back, he said, maybe in a week or two. So if you're interested in picking them up here in stores, make sure to call ahead. These lipsticks, you guys, they are very beautiful and unique. Everything about them is just very pretty. They are refillable, so you can always in interchange the other shades that they carry. They do have a satin line and a matte line as i mentioned i don't find a huge difference in the formula only the satin you know it has a little bit of a sheen but when it comes to the comfort on your lips it's about the same so it doesn't matter really which shade you go for you know 
know if you just find the perfect shade for you they have beautiful beautiful shades and I am very excited this is the first time trying her best lipsticks I skipped on whenever they actually came out with the whole line I don't know it, it just didn't call my attention but at this time these nudes and pinks I really like and so that's why I wanted to you know to try them this is definitely a treat you guys this is very pricey and they are very pretty and just oh my goodness i am very excited i am very happy that i purchased them um and yeah those were all my thoughts those were all the pretty shades by her mask let me know in the comments what do you think of these pretty lipsticks did you like the shades what do you think about her masks coming out with pinks during full time what do you think because i thought that was a little bit odd maybe they're behind you know this should have released during summertime but Anyways, those are all my thoughts. Thank you so, so much, my friends, for your love and support. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.